What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine TG back at it with another thing. As y'all can see, we got a very big package and uh, I'm excited for it. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this unboxing, man. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, I'm currently doing a voiceover right now because my brother came down and the background noise is loud. So, pretty much, when I, as I was opening up the package, I looked at the box, it was kind of beat up. Well, it wasn't really beat up. It had a little bit little bit of damage. And the box is huge, by the way. So it was understandable. The packaging was good. I know from StockX, they usually say they want the box in good, good condition. But the way they ship it, it might not be in good condition. But overall, it's not that bad. I did get a size 45. And these are pretty big shoes. I'm not going to lie. But as I tried them on, as y'all will see later on in the video, I was saying they feel pretty tight uh they run like a, i feel like they run like a size small so i would say for wide feet uh go up a size so i probably would have got a size 46 instead of a 45 which is a size 12 in us and 46 is a size 13. i know that's how you, my easy boots run i usually have to go for a size bigger and by the way i normally do not shop on StockX, but when it comes to certain designer stuff, and since I had it before so many times, I know when it's real and when it's not. So if any of the items that I get are fake, uh, I will return them. But these were 100% authentic. You know, shout out to StockX, even though I really don't, wouldn't recommend StockX. They came clutch, you know, so they get a lot of hate for the items that they do ship out. But overall, my purchase, I was 100% satisfied. Plus, I did get the original retail, um, receipt so these did originally come from bergdorf which i know that store it's a store in italy i believe or europe somewhere but i know it's a store that's not in the u.s i don't think so and uh yeah i pretty much paid yeah as you guys can see y'all see the store right there and i pretty much paid over retail for these but this was a some shoes that i've been wanting to get for a while now so i'm satisfied with them you know hopefully i'll have them in the long run and I know y'all been saying I will be having a lot of Balenciaga shoes. You know, I'm starting to build up my collection. Even though I do have a car now, you know, I realize I really need to start building up and getting some pieces. I might sell some down the line. Like I just sold them Rick Owen. Um, what you call them? Rick Owen gel baskets. I kind of regret selling them. Not that I don't have them, but I do want to sell some of my Rick Owen shoes. Well, all of my Rick Owen shoes, cause I really don't need them. And I have one of them already. The only ones I'm gonna think about keeping is the boots. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. This is just really me just showing y'all the unboxing. So y'all really not miss nothing. Stay tuned throughout the video. I will have a try it on. So I'm gonna try them on with just the pants. And then I'm gonna try them on how I look with a regular fit. You know what I'm saying? Since the uh, first review wasn't really all that, I really had to throw that in and go all off y'all. But yeah, just stay tuned for what the channel has coming. I really do want to sell my rig on all most of my rig on items if not all of them because i sold that belt really quick so yeah stay tuned for that and uh i'll let you know once i get all the items that i uh, ordered i'm going to do an update on my closet and show y'all what i want to get rid of hopefully the things that i want to get rid of i sold already so that's what i'm gonna be trying to do as well because i really do have a lot of items that i really don't need so Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And I'm about to show y'all how the shoes look close up. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love all my supporters so much. And uh, yeah, man, I love these shoes as well. You know what I'm saying? These shoes are very good quality. So let's enjoy the video. All right, y'all, so this is me trying them on. I'm not gonna speak too long. I know y'all probably getting tired of hearing my voice, but as I was trying them on, I noticed I went from like five, eight to six feet automatically. It's like, it gave me like four or five inches of height. I'm not gonna lie. 
but I like them. You know, they they heavy, but they not too heavy. You know, they not that heavy. Um, I had them in regular mode. I feel like if I have them in that regular mode, is me not having them in sport mode. If y'all know, it's pretty much me not having a strap over my uh heel. So when I don't have them on my heel, I feel like if I try to run or anything, they will come off my feet. Or if I kick, the shoe will go flying up. But when I do have the strap on the back of my heel, they do feel secure. They just kind of tight. So I would say for wide feet, get a size 13 or so, I mean, not a size 13, get a size up. So I'm a 12 and I think I should get a size 13. And most size, and most Balenciagas, they do run true to size or they have like even space in them, but they do run big. But these on the other hand, they kind of fit smaller than your average Balenciaga shoe, mainly because of the heel I noticed um there is really no space because they already big from the uh sole so there's no space on the upper for real so yeah that's pretty much it man states i hope you guys enjoying this video so far and uh let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below would y'all cop these or drop them Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is the second part, you know, from I just came back from work. I wasn't able to really film earlier. My brother was down here, so it was loud. And he was playing his tablet, so copyright. And uh, yeah, but I'm about to try on the Balenciaga Crocs right now with a fit, so I get a better view of how they look. But I got 1017 Alex chain, 1017 bracelet, you know what I'm saying? We got the Rick Owens T, Apple Watch, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the, uh, Balenciaga belt with the Balenciaga zone. We're gonna keep this fit, but we're just gonna put on the Croc boots. So without further ado, I said Croc boots, the Croc. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, this is the fit that I probably wear with it. So we got the Crocs right here. I'm gonna say these like four inches. So you see, I'm like five, eight. Then when I put them on, we're gonna put them on in regular mode. So this is not sport mode. And they do feel tight. This is a size 45, so they're one small. As you guys can see, I just got tall about like four or five inches. So now I'm like six feet. Uh, I feel like once I wear them over time, I get used to them. If not, I do recommend you guys, if you have wide feet, go a size up. So I probably would need like a size 46 of these. But um, yeah, that's how they're looking. So child up from side to side. No got the one see I can go. Then I got my Balenciaga shades upstairs too, actually. But I'm not gonna throw it on. Now we're gonna put it in sport mode. And I've seen a pair of these being sold before, but they were really for a bad, cheap price. But because of the strap part, this part right here had came off and it was broke. So I realized how tighter it is, you know, than your average crop. And yeah, so be careful when you have these as well. You don't want to stretch it out or anything or break it because you can break the strap. And that'll kind of lose the body and you'll probably be harder for you to wear. Because when you do have a strap on, it's easier to wear. Like, they won't come off your feet. But um, when I have the strap on, well, when I have it in sport mode, it's like tight, but it's still like I can feel them. Uh, yeah, I'm rocking with them. They are heavy too as well. When I got them out the box, they were pretty heavy. And I want this to be a real good review because I know not too many people got these. Retail was 950. I paid over retail for these, but it's all good. 
totally worth it. The hype was crazy on these. So these are very hard to get. But, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think of these in the comment section down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, be new. Uh, yeah, I'm out, bro. Gang, gang. Stay tuned for the next video. We got some more videos coming up. Uh, I'm gonna do like two videos after this, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. We almost at 1 million views. We almost at 2K subs, so I do wanna hit that by the end of this year. Hopefully soon, I will be posting more content. So hopefully that help me progress more and more. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for the support. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'm out, bro. Amen.